There's a lot of things that we as bus operators can complain about. But money, security, putting yourself in a position to have any schedule you want for your lifestyle comes with this job. So I'm, so I'm going to relieve my bus right now. This is probably the weirdest video you guys ever see. Oh man, perseverance. What's up guys, I'm back from my vacation and I'm crippled. I did a tattoo in my foot and I had a tattoo in my foot. It took me four sessions to do the tattoo and this time I wanted to touch it up and I did it all together, I can't walk. The tattoo that I got there, I redid it because the first person who did it like just wasn't as good and I gave somebody like trust to do it. It came out great. I did this tattoo in one session now. Sometimes don't let your ego get ahead of you. I haven't been able to walk in six days. I don't know if my shit is infected. My ankle is killing me, my leg is killing me, my foot is killing me. And my pride right now don't want to let me go to the emergency room. Yo, sometimes take things in steps. Cr crawl before you walk. But um, I'm back vlogging. Everything's um good. And remember, I have the challenge that I got to do 100 push-ups all the time. So I'm going to get those in right now, right? But um, every episode that I'm going to make from now on is going to be with this camera, my cell phone, for now. Because I lend my friend the better camera. So this vlog is going to be like four or five days all together. Sometimes, you know, you got to help your friends out. They want to go on vacation. You lend them your camera. Maybe I shouldn't because it's so expensive. But the person who borrowed it, he deserves it. He's my brother. He already knows who he is. But let me get this challenge going. Because remember, I'm supposed to do 100 push-ups every day while I'm on the bus for the rest of my career. You know, when you make promises, you got to keep them, they say. So, I'm one-fourth done. Okay, yo, I'm lightheaded. Oh, shit. I get lightheaded a lot. I gotta check that out. Yeah, I get lightheaded a lot. I gotta check that out. I'm doing the BX24 today. It's the first time I drove it. I just came this way. I was in a relief point, and I'm in this relief point, and I'm on the other side. I know the operator was kind of mad at me, but I told him it was my first time here. He took it kind of cool. I think transferring to the Bronx and transferring to Gun Hill was the best decision I made. I do, I think, four trips on this. I'm off the bus at 12 something, and I got a five hour lunch break. It's called the swing. Go to the gym. Investing is not about just money, you know what I'm saying? It's about that right there. And get that cardio in. Do a couple of errands. I have these tattoos. And those tattoos, I literally got them because might sound weird to people, but it's something of faith, honestly. It's something I believe, something I felt. I, I don't want to get too much into details with them, but I constantly tell myself I can, you know, I will, I believe, I am. I don't like saying I can't. I don't like saying I won't. I really believe the things that you put in your mind is the things that take you to where you want to go. So if you can't believe it, you can never see it. If you never see it, You'll never do it. Then go back to work. Do a couple of trips. And I go home. Yo, being a bus driver is a good thing. If you want to be a bus driver, and you, when you get time, they take care of you. happy for the things that the MTA provides to you. But let me get back to working. I'm about to drive this bus. Look, this bus is cool. Look at that bus. Look at that bus. That's a great bus. Love buses. Yo, I picked the right depot, man. This is treating me well so far. 
I'm really happy. My leg is killing me. I don't know what this vlog is gonna be about. But para para pa 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 para. Look, I look crazy. Imagine you come on my bus. You wanna come? I'm gonna drive you where you gotta go, and I'm gonna get you there safe. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I will take you to hell, motherfucker. I will take you to fucking hell, motherfucker. Where the fuck you going? I'll take you there, nigga. Can I say that word? Oh shit. I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna get sued. I'm racist. Oh no. Yo, Jason, I can't believe you used that word. My foot. My foot hurts. My foot hurts. I know God is teaching me a lesson. It means physical pain is not worse than emotional pain because I had emotional pain and it don't hurt more than this. This hurts more physically, but not. Right there, it just hurts right there. I'm a little strong when the fuck on the low. Or maybe I know how to take pain. And I accept abuse, I guess. You should be happy for the things that the MTA provides to you. I just came from a one month vacation. One month of doing nothing. I forgot what this is. That's why I take one month. I can't wait till I get five weeks so I could take three weeks and two weeks together or I do two weeks, two weeks because you got to forget about the job. You sometimes got to clear your mind in life and forget about stuff and move forward. But um, yes, let's move on. So I'm going to head and um, go forward, go forward. I'm going to head and do my get to the other side of the line. Um, see how that treats me and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? This going to this side is like turns after turns after turns. But um, even if I don't know the turns and I don't know where to go, it doesn't really matter. I'm getting paid. Get behind the bus. You take it slow. You assume and make the right decisions because you got this. Because that's how life is. When you're positive and you know you, you got this. Damn, my leg hurts. My leg hurts. It's burning. It's burning. My leg. My leg. Okay. Ooh. It's the foot. It's the foot. It's like paka 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 paka. Paka 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 paka. Let me go. So I basically made it to the end of the line, but in this route on the 24, oh my leg, my leg, my leg. I'm sorry, my foot, my foot. Um when you get to the other side, you can't stay there, so you have to come around. It's a whole loop. It's like an M60. Um, this route is really cool. It has a lot of turns. I didn't know most of them, and I was asking people, what do I do here? But it was very interesting. I, I should have it going back to the other side. Um, you know, you just got to get it done. And I got to get back to these push-ups, remember? I'm at, I got to do another 25. got to do 100. Whew. You know, sometimes, sometimes we don't want to do certain things. You know, things are hard. It's not easy to go work out. It's not easy to be responsible, to save money, to not eat what you don't, what you want to eat. But you just got to do it. It, it. You got to have patience and discipline. Something I still work at. I'm 35 years old. If you don't try to build patience and discipline for, for things that you want to do in life, things get hard because... You're going to always think about yourself and satisfying yourself and doing what you want right then and there. And if you notice, the richest people, even superstars, who have never had patience and discipline in certain things can lose everything. They might have patience and discipline in practicing in their craft, but you have to try to practice this in everything you do. Everything. Saving money, life skills, friendships, relationships. So let me get back to these 25. Always put your head up. It keeps your back straight. I don't even know how much I did there. But um, I'm gonna take my break. I'm gonna relax. I'm, I'm in pain and got a couple of trips. So I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Do you see me? 
You don't see me, but I see you. So this is where I'm located now. I'm in um, Pelham Bay Station for like a week. 